I am Abila Shakarki. I head the uh, research unit Okru Nepal. Uh, I am a clinical microbiologist by training. The main objective is to have a significant positive uh, public health impact in Nepal um, and not just in Nepal but in the whole South Asian region. Specifically talking about diseases, so we focus on diarrheal diseases, that's always been our focus, specifically typhoid. Over the years antimicrobial resistance has become the next big thing, uh, so in all areas um, especially hospital acquired infections uh, and more recently dengue is a big problem for us and one of our main research fo focuses in the coming years. I think the, the TCP typhoid vaccine has been one of our greatest success stories. Once we did the vaccination study, I think we, we realized a lot of things. First of all, I think we realized that we can do vaccine trials uh, in Nepal on a world-class scale. Uh, second was we realized how important it is to work with policymakers. We'd been very focused on public engagement, communities, people that we involved in, hospital management, but we actually previously had never uh, worked together with policymakers. So with the TCV vaccination trial, when we wanted to convince the government to put it on the immunization uh, level, we sort of realized how important it was. Since then, we've started working really closely with policymakers. Uh, that's one big change we've had since then. The other thing that the vaccine trial taught us was how important regional networking was. So Pakistan, Bangladesh were part of the trial. So when going to policymakers, it was easy to say, oh, Bangladesh already has this on their immunization schedule we should do it too. So it was just one more point to convince them. Uh, so that's why another uh, trial that we're doing looking at treatment for typhoid fever uh, involves a regional collaboration as between Pakistan, Bangladesh and Nepal and hopefully in the future uh, India as well. But you know it sort of gave us an idea that you can't have a significant positive public health impact if you're not regionally connected. Uh, so that's another big lesson that we had. So the antimicrobial resistant research is, to be honest, I think it's quite complex. So in the past, we focused purely on surveillance, uh, trying to set up uh, stewardship programs, which was difficult because in Nepal, we work with big government hospitals. They're extremely cash strapped. Uh, nothing is digital. So you literally have doctors sitting and, you know, collecting data, data sets, etc. What we've known now from our research in Nepal is what are the most common pathogens. So I think the next focus for us is uh, in the hospitals, carbapenem resistant gram-negative pathogens are a huge concern, especially in the intensive care units. So one of the things that we plan to do is have a randomized control trial looking at best treatment options for carbapenem resistant pathogens. Uh, we're going to try and do control trials looking at you know, short course versus long course treatment uh, for surgical patients, uh, etc. So I think in the future, my research on antimicrobial resistant will be more pathogen focused. We already know now because of our surveillance data, what is the most common pathogen that affects our hospital. Uh, so Klebsiella pneumoniae, Enterobacter in the communities, and I think it, my research will turn more focused. Uh, at the moment, all of my focus is actually on Salmonella. Uh, so extensively drug-resistant Salmonella has become a huge problem in our region. And even though we, don't, we haven't seen it in Nepal yet, uh, we're still keeping our eye open for that. So we're doing a regional uh, surveillance on Salmonella. So climate change is significantly affecting us. For example, dengue. We never had dengue in Kathmandu. Uh, you know, you would see cases, but they would always be attached to a travel history to an endemic region. Uh, I think it was 2018-19. We started getting sporadic reports of a dengue case with no travel history. But you know, you always thought, oh, they didn't take the history properly. Uh, in 2022, we had our biggest ever dengue outbreak, and hospitals, and because it coincided with COVID. Hospitals were just not prepared uh, to take on the cases, and even we didn't know what to do. Uh, and I think one of the good things that, you, that we realized about the network was it was very easy to reach out to Vietnam, to the dengue group in Vietnam, and say, what can we do? Um, and at, at the moment now, we've designed a very small study, a uh, surveillance study, you know, just to know what variants are going around, etc., together with the dengue team in Vietnam. Uh, so I think these are effects of climate change. I think all of our disease research questions, we're just trying to make it the research questions as objective uh, as possible. 
So I've been in Nepal with the unit for 16 years now. I think there's been huge changes. Um, the hospitals, you know, they have in started including us in, say, infection prevention, uh, control committees or antimicrobial stewardship programs. We've now got a very good relationship with the community so they understand if there is a question about any of the treatments that we're doing or vaccines, they call us. So I think there have been huge positive impacts on the medical community as well as on the general community where we work. I think globally, uh, a lot of people didn't even know that Nepal was doing all of this. Uh, and I think we've become more visible now, uh, which has sort of attracted global collaborations, which is only, I think, you know, it, it's all good, especially for uh, capacity strengthening of the local clinicians and scientists, which is, of course, uh, another one of our significant aims.